The Office of the Division of Gender Affairs officially opened its doors to the public this past weekend. The move to this new location represents a 40-plus year battle to elevate gender concerns in St. Lucia and treat the department as a distinct entity. The primary goal of the inaugural ceremony, according to Gender Affairs Minister Honorable Dr. Virginia Albert Poyot, was to increase awareness among the uninformed and to continue bringing attention to the significance of gender and what it means to individuals. Although the gender movement got its start fighting for women's rights, equality and inclusivity, Honorable Poyot points out that things have since altered to support the battle against inequality that both men and women may experience. She emphasizes how important it is for citizens and non-governmental organizations to work together to promote gender issues. The Department of Gender cannot operate on its own. It must get the support of civil society organizations as well as non-governmental organization for it to function. Already it is a department that does not have a large staff and therefore if it tries to work on its own to bring about gender equality in the society, they will not achieve much. So civil society organizations and NGOs have to play a critical role in advancing the issue of gender equality. Director of the Division of Gender Affairs, Janie Joseph, during her welcome remarks at Friday's ceremony, recognized the efforts of the culmination of work of all individuals who came before them and made the advancement in the sector so that today may be possible. The journey, she acknowledges, has seen its fair share of ups and downs and it is far from over. This new home is yet another stepping stone in the advancement of gender affairs in St. Lucia. Indeed, the Division of Gender Affairs has had quite a journey much like that of a butterfly, looking like and being called one thing at one point and metamorphizing into other things and being called by other names at other times. Being small and immobile, to being busy without a backbone, to being hidden and unseen, even unsightly, to blossoming into the open and shining beautifully for everyone to see. It is quite a journey that undoubtedly will continue beyond today. But we pause today to look upon that journey, acknowledge the struggles, but be grateful for where we have come. National Council of Voluntary Women's Organizations Representative Josephine Farrell describes the organization's battles to locate a suitable location for operations from the group's founding. After years of fighting for women's rights, equality and justice without a proper home base, Farrell praised Minister Albert Poyot's determination to carry out her mission and establish a place specifically for addressing gender affairs in St. Lucia. It's a lot of selfless women doing things for no pay. But keep National Council of Voluntary Women's Organization moving. So, no sooner now National Council always putting pressure on the on the, the members. As soon as our minister, this minister, who had used a lot of her own resources to help the group, oh, we wrote and said, Madam Minister, remember you told us never kick the ladder that helped you get up there. So we know you won't kick the ladder, but we need some space to operate. And hence, we are here today to receive our key to <laughs> <laughs> from, from the minister to have our operating space. The opening ceremony was held on Friday, May 31st. The new office of the Division of Gender Affairs is located on High Street, Cash Trees. 